To define a string in PHP, you can surround some text with single quotes or with double quotes. So what's the difference? The difference is how the contents of the string are evaluated. Let's start with single quoted strings. The contents of a single quoted string are taken as they are. Any character inside a single quoted string will be displayed without being processed. The only exceptions are if you want to display a single quote inside the string, which you can do by prefixing it or escaping it with a backslash. Likewise, if you want to display a backslash, you prefix that character itself with a backslash. This is the only processing that occurs on a single quoted string. All other characters are just printed as they are. As for double quoted strings, in addition to escaping single backslashes, there are several escape sequences that will be interpreted as special characters when the string is displayed. For example, if a double quoted string contains backslash n, this will be converted to a line feed or new line character. There's a full list of the available escape sequences for double quoted strings in the PHP documentation. Additionally with double quoted strings, you can insert the value of a variable. When the string is processed, the value of the variable will be inserted into the string. If it's not obvious where the variable name ends, an error will occur, as in this example, PHP will take the variable name as fruits. In this case, you can isolate the variable name by surrounding it with curly braces. As for performance, well, the contents of single quoted strings are processed less than double quoted strings, so there can be a slight performance advantage in using single quoted strings. However, in the real world, this is negligible and is an optimization that's not worth worrying about. There's a comparison between the speed of single quotes and double quotes on the PHP benchmark site here. With the latest version of PHP, there's little if any performance advantage in using single quotes. In addition to single quoted and double quoted strings, there are two other ways we can create strings, which are particularly useful for creating multi-line strings. The first is a here doc. This starts with three less than characters, then an identifier, which can be whatever you like, but it's common to use EOT for end of text. This is followed by a new line character, then the text you want as part of the string. A here doc works like a double quoted string, in that you can insert escape sequences and variables. In addition, if you want to insert a double quote character, you don't need to escape it. To end the here doc, place the same identifier on a new line at the end of the string. As of PHP 7.3, you can indent the closing identifier if you like, as long as none of the lines of the string have less white space in front of them. If you do indent it, then the same amount of white space before the closing identifier will be removed from the start of each line when the string is displayed. A now doc is similar, except this works like a single quoted string, in that no parsing is done, so you can't insert special characters or variables. To define a now doc, again start with three less than characters, followed by an identifier, but this time the identifier is enclosed in single quotes. To end the now doc, the identifier doesn't need to be enclosed in quotes. So which method should you use to create a string? If you want to insert the value of variables or escape sequences, use a double quoted string or a here doc. If you want a multi-line string, consider using a here doc 
are a now doc. Otherwise, for simple strings, there's no real-world difference in performance between single quotes and double quotes, so use whichever you prefer.